happy holidays. Merry Christmas, all of the winter holidays, and welcome to Mindful SMP. I am currently in the Christmas area that we have chosen, um, and I'm making that Christmas tree here with Panda. So I thought I would make a little video showing you guys how uh, we made it all come together. And if you are interested in getting your own server, we are sponsored by MC Pro Hosting. And if you use the code MINDFUL, you can get 20% off your server purchase as well. Thank you, MC Pro Hosting. Anyway, um, so we put a little Christmas skirt under the tree. Um, we wanted it to be up on this hill and kind of overlooking this little um, wintry village that we've got. We also, when I say we, I, I mean um, me and Panda and uh, Jane also came through and, and helped with a, a little bits and bobs. Lautner and Random were absolutely amazing and you'll see, uh, I'll, I'll tell you about what they did a little later on here in, in just a quick second. Um, so we ended up, um, if you remember or have been watching, Panda and I have only just joined Mindful not too long ago, so we don't have a lot of stuff. So we had to go on a lot of collection missions for things like concrete and quartz and wood and leaves and dyes and wool and and all all the bits and bobs that we needed everything that you see that we used to make the uh, Christmas area with we had to go and collect um, I'm really really happy with the way that it came out which you will see at the end now I do know that though you saw me just placing the normal chests under the tree there uh, around Christmas time Mojang actually changes all the the um, chest to look like Christmas presents so they'll look really good on Christmas Day anyway we toiled away with this for a while um, we decided to take down all these little houses here and Panda had started a really nice little like Scandinavian style house absolutely gorgeous little house but it wasn't very colorful it was um, very well made and the structure of it was really nice but when I proposed doing a Christmas area, my idea was like a Santa's village. You know, we want lots of color and reds and greens and whites and, you know, like just very bright colored over the top Santa's village elves, etc. So we went all the way out to a bad land to get some terracotta for some decorations for the tree as well as some of the reds and greens that we would want for um, some of the accents on like the houses and and stuff like that so um, after I went and got all that terracotta with panda and then we smelted a bunch of it up I popped on up into the tree and and we we uh, we we decorated decorated the crap out of that thing and it ended up looking uh, looking really good. It was a lot of smelting, I tell you what though. So we decided to just tear down all of the little houses that were in this little kind of like semi-circle area around the tree. And we just kind of decided to, uh, to build our own. And I was still smelting, told you, so much smelting. <laughs> and then it was time for decorating. We love decorating yay for Christmas trees what is your favorite decoration that you guys put on your tree do you have the old decorations from when you were a kid or a special star or angel or I, I don't even know decoration that goes on the top of the tree what what what's a special thing about this holiday season for you guys I know I love to get to spend time with my family my son is on school break right now so he's home and we get to do all of the amazing things together like bake cookies and watch Christmas movies and sing silly songs in crazy voices and at the top of our lungs and it's it's a lot of fun so getting back to this. <laughs> 
Um, we decorated, I decorated the patootie out of this tree. And if you saw just a few minutes ago, um, I, Panda and Brogan, actually, they put the um, end crystal on top of the tree and it looks so good. It looks so good. As long as we can keep the two of them away from shooting it, the damn Welshmen like to cause chaos, then it should be good. Hopefully no one explodes the tree. <laughs> I think the entire top of it would be gone. So at this point, the whole area is really coming together. And I made this table. Now look at all of these mini heads. This is what I was talking about. Random and Lautner came out here and killed each other a gabillion times. Look at all of these awesome heads that they made. Uh, these literally make the area. They made snow globes and ornaments and bells and gingerbread houses and figgy puddings and candy canes and all of the things that we needed to make this area literally just come together. The banners, like I don't think that this area would have looked half as good if they hadn't gone out and did what they did. I mean, it, take away all of the decorations that we've got here, other than like the terracotta. And it's not, it's not going to look as festive. There's no way. So in my mind, Random and Lautner really like made this area just kind of what it is. <laughs> Honestly, love them so much for doing this because it's amazing. It's amazing. It looks so good. So we put in some lamp posts and some um areas to sit and um we, we were working on some candy cane designs jane had come out um she was putting up some lamp posts and helping us get some glowstone we were talking about doing a snowman but that you can see that was <laughs> i don't even know what he was making there there's a lot of trial and error um, at first i was gonna have like a golden banquet table but i like the idea of the darker table and um, put the, the gold plates on it to, to have as dinner plates. <laughs> so at this point, I mean, we were, we were almost done. And it was really just serious finishing touches. Um, the only thing I think I had left to do at this point was I wanted to put a Santa sleigh in on the roof of that kind of like longer building, which we were considering to be... Uh, Santa's uh, like workshop I guess where a lot of stuff happened just because it was one of the bigger buildings so um, I went and found one online because uh, I have I have no idea what stuff like that uh, I ended up extending the building a lot further back just so that I could have more space to build on and I do believe this was actually a Wells Knight. Oh, I think it was Wells Knight who built it in like a Christmas like speed build thing. It was like a 15 minute Christmas build from a year or two or three ago. It was it was from a couple years ago. If you look him up on YouTube, it should come up. Uh, you know, Wells Knight Christmas. I will 100% try to link the video down below just because it is a really quick and easy build and after I decorated it, it looked fantastic. Pretty much just like everything in this area. Once it was built and we decorated it with Lawner and Random's decorations, it was like, BAM! So at this point, there really wasn't a whole lot left to do. I wanted to put in like a little gingerbread or candy house here next to the portal and in between the tree just to kind of fill in the little circle a little bit and as I was doing that Lautner ended up showing up and showing everybody his fancy stick that knocks you back super duper duper far I think it's like it's got to be like knocked back a million or something because in about two seconds you see me go flying off the cliff yep and they broke the bed or i didn't sleep in the bed so i had to take the massively long way back 
I love our Christmas area, but oh my god, do not die out here. It is horrendous. Takes like five minutes to get back. But once I got back, I slept in bed and carried on after I collected all of my stuff. Oh, those two. I swear. <laughs> all my stuff went everywhere because I landed on the ice. So it was kind of a pain in the butt for them to to pick, to pick it all up. Nah, yeah, my shulker. <laughs> And so after we messed about for a little bit and hung out with Lautner, I went back up and <laughs> finished the candy cane house. Um, because uh, this being one of the last things that needed to be done, um, it's the candy cane house or gingerbread house, whatever you want to call it, and uh, clean up. And I think that uh, covering some of the grass with snow. <laughs> Lautner is <laughs> taking a nap in the snow. Uh, those are pretty much the only things that we have left that we have to do and yeah and then I need to get on my secret Santa project because I have something really awesome planned so I'm really excited which I will share with you guys in just a minute so secret Santa the time has come again I ended up drawing panda for my secret Santa which I, there was a bunch of us standing there and I almost blew it when I drew the name because I almost laughed so hard. But we started this server about a month ago, a little, little over a month ago. So we really don't have much. So I decided to go a little over the top for Panda and I made a deal with Brogan and I got books to enchant an entire set of armor, tools, sheer, hoe, um, an extra set of elytra, rockets, all of that stuff. And um, I decided to make him up a for when you die and mess up box because he constantly is dying and losing all of his stuff, especially elytra. So before I headed over to the Christmas area to put the very last little touches on things and clean up some boxes a little later with Panda, I stopped over here at the Enderman farm for hours and hours. I think I AFK'd here with a clicker on for uh, several hours a, c a couple different times because I only managed to get half of the stuff enchanted the first time and I ran out of my own diamonds making the armor so I still needed a couple um, I still needed to go down and um, I needed another I think I miss did one of the picks so I needed to make another pick to put in because I didn't have a s extra silk touch one to give him and I think I was going to repair mine and then just stick it in with his stuff. Um, but I, I still needed to do the shears and the hoe. And I wanted to get a couple diamonds to make that too. So I made up his whole little box other than the couple things that were missing out of it. Um, it combined my other enchantments there. And I also, you know, gave it a little... Um, name the shulker you know for for panda because <laughs> it was christmas and then i uh you know hopped on my broom and headed back over to uh the christmas area to clean up and get that stuff done and stick this present under the tree for panda little did i know that disaster was literally just about to strike in the most horrible horrible and stupid way possible so i came over here we decided that it was time we were just about done right after i finished up the little house we decided we were gonna clean everything up and 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 get everything all finished so we <laughs> We're looking at all the stuff that we've still got left, talking about how it's almost done and we should probably get things all picked up, etc., etc. So we start breaking the 
boxes and the barrels and picking up our own shulkers. Um, we put a bunch of barrels and then Ethics showed up, <laughs> tagged the crap out of me, which go watch his video because he got me clutch and it, I cannot believe he actually managed to pull it off. Anyway, we, uh, we put a bunch of the chests inside the little houses because we're not really using them for anything. They're tiny. There literally was just, um, a couple beds and then in a couple of them, not even all of them had anything in it one of them's got a snowman in it. <laughs> um and then we decided you know what um why don't we just dig out inside this little santa's workshop a little bit and just store them in here because it makes more sense it's kind of where everything would be anyway little did i know that uh panda actually uh broke the bed that we had been spawning in on so uh I didn't, I, I lost my, my spawn, spawn spot. Now this has happened a couple times since we've been over here. So no big deal. Uh, we had finally gotten the beds in a place where they were not really going to be moved around. Um, but I didn't know that one of the houses that we were putting boxes in had a bed that had been broken. It just so happened to be my bed. So I pick up all the shulkers and I'm saying to myself, oh, let me put all these last little bits that I've got on me down. Um, I can, you know, uh, finish, up, finish up the last little bits I need to do for Panda's present. And then I can put it under the tree and call it good to go. And it will be a grand old time. We decided we needed a little bit more concrete to finish that. And then I died. And got sent all the way back to spawn with everything I had on me. And my bed was broken. Now, the problem is, and there is a reason why there is no audio in this clip. I was constantly swearing. Constantly. From the time I came through the portal and realized that he couldn't find my stuff right away and that I had 10 minutes to like, uh, it's, it's literally a five minute journey just to get there from the, from the spawn area through the nether. And then I fell through some powdered snow, which I have no idea who dug that out. So bite my butt, whoever did that. Panda ended up getting my stuff and I grabbed the rockets that he gave me and hightailed her back. Now here you can see the microphone going off and he's giving me all the stuff and I'm like, but where, where are the shulkers? And he's like, wait, 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 I have all this stuff. As you can see from that little clip, one shulker survived and I had to lock off. So that's the Christmas story of how we spent <laughs> A week and a half building up the Christmas area. And then I ruined Panda's Christmas present. I hope everybody has a really fantastic holiday without any mishaps like mine. If you've made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much. It means so much to me that you guys take time out of your days and your busy schedules to sit down and listen to me babble about playing with friends and generally just having a good time. So leave a comment down below. Happy holidays to everybody and we'll see you in the new year. Merry Christmas!